Steve, you ready? I'm ready. One, one thing that I'll point out in the policy, uh, I, I had kind of uh, made a more specific reference of, of how the uncollectibles, once they were exhausted, would come back to us. And I, I kind of uh, veered back and, and, and was more vague because if they run into special circumstances, I just want them to turn them over when, when, they're, when, when they're said and done. And so we just kind of leave it. Leave a little bag, that, and then every every December, uh, anything that they have that's uncollectibles, that they would turn over to us, and then we would pass right over to the sell program. The, the only thing that I think on, on this one here is that uh, it is the fifty dollars. But I I think it's reasonable, but I but I but I do I, I do worry about some folks that just don't have the means to, to make the fifty dollars. Not that fifty dollars is a lot, but uh, a lot of times folks are faced with many more bills than than just ours. So I, I don't know what the. What do other departments do? You know? The we check with the uh, uh, with the hospital, and theirs is fifty. But, but then then they have special circumstances that they take into consideration if they have somebody. But I don't know how you get into doing those things in the special deals. I just I. I but that gets real money. Because who do you do them for? Who do you know them for? <coughs> but you don't know what other EMS departments do on their I, I collections. Don't. Or, we can check into that. Okay. Like I'm just curious to know if they, I thought of that after the last meeting. Yeah. Before. I, I don't know what they're doing. Mm -hmm. I think you'll find, probably find a collage of different well, yeah. approaches. Yeah. Depending upon how bigger, the bigger departments probably have very little. Just because they deal with so many people that they probably they probably tow the line pretty straight. I wonder how many people do they have on the payment plan like at the hospital? Do you have a lot of people that want to do that? Uh, I don't know. And yeah, well, I, I think if you set a little higher, it, it makes a little more serious deal. And then, but I could see that if somebody says, "Hey, I'll, the most I give you is twenty or twenty-five." Then I could see maybe setting up something. Well, it's, uh, sure, but this kind of weeds out the ones that aren't very nervous. Yeah, and, and, and the bills are, I mean, our bills are, you, you pay $10, 15 dollars for it. take you 20 years, years to take that. I know, that's what I'm saying. Of your accounts receivables, how many do you think would, would set up a, some type of payment plan? Not very many. Mm -hmm. And how many of these do you think are making payments? We, we've got a few out there that, I mean, plus I've heard that their bills are $530 is the bottom bill that we're going to have, and that's just your transport for like a mile from Stafford Hospital or the house to Stafford. Um, they're making $10 a month, but they're doing it religiously. I mean, they'll do it um, if they just, if they're on, they're uh, not on any health for the state or uh, they're not working, they're disabled. At least they're making some kind of an effort to do that. Do you think if you advertise the fact I mean, if you got somebody that's not paying a bill, say, hey, we, could you pay $50 a month? Maybe more people would be interested. But just talking to the people in your club. Well, or do you send out a, like on this, in a statement, do you please notify us to make arrangements? Yeah. Usually, well, they, um, they have to do that. Yeah. You usually put on the bottom of that, pay your responsibility. Uh -huh. um, this is your balance. If you um, will gladly accept payments, if you can't pay it in full, always put that. Yeah. And, okay. What, no more than we have if, if what you'd like is for us to just come uh, 
and, and go into executive session and just say we have special circumstances. We, we, we can't really divulge the, the patient or the condition, but we could, we could certainly uh, share with you their situation and their uh, reasoning for not being able to, to meet this. Oh, can't go into the executive session. Well, th then we could simply simply just lay out the um, uh, a circumstance of special need and be as vague to stay clear of the. Well, we could even put like um, like out the patient's name, of course, but you could have the date of service, the amount, and what they are able to pay, mm -hmm. and make sure that that's okay with you guys. It wouldn't happen very often. And and that would probably be better than stay with this. So we, we don't just advertise out that you can make a, a microscopic okay. Does everything else look okay with that? I wish there would be a specific date or time period other than in the quickest manner possible to state it. Definition. The patient report will be built out by the MS assistant director in the quickest manner possible. Right now, it's done within a week. Week. Yeah. Um, we could put that in there if you want. That well, I mean, it's, it's I, that done. everything else is pretty defined here, but other than, than that, I would say a week would be sufficient. And we can we can set that in at the, uh, the standard internal standard that that's what our expectations are. Okay. I actually would even, would even like to have a quick first, first one to get their, <laughs> yeah. to get their bill out. I mean, yeah, others you want to go watch them the next day, possibly. Yeah. So, I mean, a week would be the latest. Okay. Okay. Um, the collection agency. Do we need to do this in a motion? Make a motion and set the standard operating guide, guideline number 115. Second. Okay, it's been moved and second. And we adopted uh, 115. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Motion carried. Yeah, I thought I had it. Yeah. This, this is the collection agreement. I thought I'd be multiple copies. You know, as far as as far as whether I know whether all these are, are the uh, the best deal, uh, what I do know is we got the hospital deal, and I do know that that's a better deal than what they were proposing to us. Even after they promised that, they tried to give us the higher rate in the meeting, and Amy jumped right in and said, "Oh no, 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 Patrick! I spoke with Patrick, and Patrick said that they will get." same deal as what we need mm -hmm. And so the gal actually got on her cell phone and called Patrick. And Patrick said yes, that, that is what uh, we told them. So we, we get, I mean, it sounds uh, rather high, but um, I wouldn't know whether that was high or not. But I do know, like I said, that the hospital, when you take into account that they, that they probably don't, through all their work, a lot of them they collect nothing. So naturally, uh, it's hard to say whether that's high or not, but I do know that they tried to get uh, what was it, about ten percent more on one of them than what the hospital got, and we got we got that corrected. And so it's uh, so this, it, it's this just is, as good as what the hospital does. This is what they're getting for whatever they collect. Is there any other cost associated that they don't collect? No. No. Not paying them any hour No. And and from what we've heard, uh, just uh, is that the uh, from uh, one young that just spoke in behalf of again experience having some experience with them is that they uh, that they're not like a knee breaker. They don't bring baseball bats. They're not going to take the ones out and pick them up. I've been with a couple of them that collect really well. I've been with another bill. Not one that I hope get paid. They're persistent, but very professional. 
And this is the same company with the hospital. The same company. Which, which, the only reason I didn't even look into others is because naturally, if, if they're assisting us with the selection process, do you let out that this can I just send specialists? Makes sense. That's where Amy Harris comes in. She actually deals with the RSI through the hospital. Yep. That's the rest of that. And and the other <laughs> the other front page. The other thing that got pointed out is is uh, like it's, it's a year to year thing. But she said if if you don't know, like if you don't like what we're doing, you just don't send us anything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it, it really at any point in time, and so that's, if we didn't like what they were doing, we just wouldn't give them any. So agencies like that that I've looked at, I mean, they want them all, they want the good with the man. So yeah. you got to kind of watch that, not just the ones that you deem are uncollectible. But it's a different service. Do you use No. We, he no. has his own knee break. <laughs> because, um, they have a... I used to do some of that. That's kind of funny. They have two signature... Yeah. Signature places on that document. <laughs> and they, uh, they put me uh, as the signer, and I'm I'm fine with that with signing that. If if, if you need to some, if you need to ratify it also. I if that's okay. I just wanted to make sure that you were aware of what I was signing before I signed it. Yeah. All in favor say aye. 
Aye. Aye. Aye. All in opposed, same sign. Motion carried. We, we get these periodically, and uh, I don't know if uh, Nathan's in charge of that. I should have probably brought it before I brought it to you guys. But uh, that's just vehicles available. So if, if, if that is your pleasure, that you want to go that direction instead of another direction, that's an option. We get that print out periodically. The state surplus thing? It's amazing that the state has so many vehicles that are four years old and only have 25,000 miles in the parking lot. I wonder why our taxes are high. But you're welcome to look at that over, and if, if that helps you uh, move in that direction, that's just what you need to sign that resolution. Um, we, we did have a fire there last night. We actually had uh, three or four up there north, but uh, we had one of our trucks that uh, uh, died on us. And it's one of our bigger trucks, one of the only ones. It, it's the last one that we won't play out of the system. But we, we discovered that it didn't have a mechanical problem, it had a fuel problem. And it has, it carries about 40 gallons of fuel, and uh, uh, Station Chief Mark Clausen is very meticulous about it. So we believe that uh, somebody siphoned the fuel out of that vehicle. So uh, Tom's taking care of whatever police report might be necessary, but we're going to change all the codes on the door. We haven't done that in a while, so we'll change the codes on the door and keep it close to around. Uh, Red Cross has a, uh, a big training session over in Pratt uh, this coming week. I'll get a copy of uh, they have some evening sessions, but they have some keynote speakers coming in on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, if, if you're at all interested, 7 to 9. Uh, the Greensburg Joplin um, might, might be one that we would be interested in since it's in close proximity. Um, but they have, they have training going on all next week. And there's a homeland meeting tomorrow that I'll attend that uh, will pick up two more mobile 800 radios. Um, through that, uh, one of them will go into, well, they'll both go into sheriff's office. And uh, how much time do I have left? 10 minutes? 10 minutes. 10 minutes. If I could go into executive session for 10 minutes uh, to you for non elected personnel information. Top. I move we'll go into executive session for 10 minutes. We'll see the. Uh, for discussion of non elected personnel. Second that. It's been a big exact we went into executive session for 10 minutes for non elected personnel. All in favor say aye. 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 I guess my only issue with that, Steve, this Steve, is, Steve, is the confrontations we've had here. I mean, it's very unprofessional, and I, I, that's why I. Didn't want to do anything with the last week, and I'm really hesitant about doing something with this week. Uh, you know, nothing personal; it's just a professional matter. I mean, <clears throat> and that's. It's. Uh, I, I, think I, I think that needs to be addressed, and I think that, you know, it's a three hundred dollar increase. You know, and I, you know, I think that that's something we really need to, to work on. You know, in the. I I don't disagree with you. Uh, I, I think, uh, you know, there, there, there's not really an excuse for it. Um, the, uh, the billing has wore me out. You know, we've, we've, we've been battling it and battling it and battling it. And, um, and it just, it's just got to a frustrated point. Right. And, uh, that's an explanation for it, not an excuse. <laughs> we can work on that. Though. <laughs> I, I think we're 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 we've, hit, we've seen some light in the tunnel on that. I really think the hospital is going to help us. And if I would have thought that um, if I had to do it over again, I wouldn't have waited that long. I, I probably would have just moved forward and, and went with an outside agency, and just because it drove on too far, too long, just too long. But uh, very few are any any more doing their own internal life, and I think there's a reason for that. It, it actually, uh, I, I think it has better built-in uh, safeguards when you're not doing and handling. Uh, and, and I did that in, immediately when I got here. That no funds are coming to our office. They're going to go. 
police have been very, very helpful in that matter. Okay. Immediately we got that. And so, um, what we're going to do better now? I would move that we move Steve from range 17, step forward to range 17, step 5. As presented. I'll second the motion. It's been moved and second that we increase uh, Steve from step four, range 17 to step five, range 17. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? Aye. Motion carried. And that is all. Thank you. Carl, are you ready? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. The total budget of $148,950. Uh, most all of it came in the personal services, uh, salaries. Um, pretty much everything else, if you go back to 2011 and come across, um, which I've always kind of, you know, watched the budget pretty hard since 1991. Um, but coming across there, Kind of see where we were at on a couple of things back in 2011 all the way to 2014. I'm just going to go and see if anything jumps out at you. Blazer's doing good. I hopefully don't see any major problems with that. Any tires? No. He has everybody. Actually, the only problem we've had with it is when we hit the deer, and then we've had one other problem with the radiator since then because of that action. What? Because he was getting election equipment oh. that night. It wasn't because of your department. I said it was deer. The increase in professional services and others, what's that? In? You have a $500 increase there. What's that? Well, which one's that? Uh, 4333. Forty-three fifty-three. Twelve hundred dollars. Yeah. Two thousand eleven. Oh, it, it 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 went up mostly from the uh, when when with Randy we use it a little more. Oh, okay. And that's when uh, we had a little more questions with the Orion. Okay. Now we still do, and I, I don't know if I've ever told you we we don't host the Orion here. We're on the state gave everybody an option back in two thousand nine when Orion. Came in. O'Brien is the new appraisal system. We 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 went with the state hosting us, and what they do is they do their nightly backups and then send to um, University of Arizona for and they vice versa. But um, <clears throat> it's just cheaper for them to host us uh, instead of us having somebody here do that. The person would be Randy, and then that would cost us even mm -hmm. more. So. Um, so that's why I want the centrally hosted part, which is nice. The one thing for the, if you go down to 4514, did that answer your question? Yeah. On uh, 4514, that is the Orion expenditures. That's when we get that letter once a year from the state when they ask uh, if the counties would help with some enhancements. In the last two years, we've paid actually just half of what they've asked us to pay and the reason we don't pay the whole I don't think we should pay the whole thing is a lot of those enhancements are for the bigger counties that have complained enough to get that and we don't even use that mm -hmm. part of where I am so and I bring that into you guys every year though yeah. to let you know what we what I think we should pay for on there 
these last three are all budgets that have been approved. In the yes. Past. Do you have anything no. about the actual expenditures for the last year? Or and what we actually spent? We've been really close because we haven't. What we've done in the past is we've rolled that whatever the difference was, and then we pull some out and roll that into our other fund, our 19, our equipment reserve. And that's how we bought the um, plotter and, and has done some updates with, with that. Done that for a couple years. Yeah, it's, 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 it's pretty close. There's not I'd much like there. to I'd like to have that before we okay. actually last decide. year's. Yeah. Before we actually set the budget. Okay, that's fine. That's good. That's a good idea. Oh, the actual expenditure. Yeah. Oh. For each department or just his? Just his. Okay. I mean, I think we've had them for about everybody else that's yeah. been in here. I mean, that's just something that we've had almost. That's fun. That's, that's fine. I could tell a whole lot more about what you want. I look at the one place so when because Nita gives me a court and I look at that every and it's we don't have much at the end of the year. I mean I can sometimes see things in other departments that we overspent here and underspent here. Last year he spent ninety three percent of his Just do it for you, man. Just do it for you. Efficiency. Yeah. Bill's not even taking notes. <laughs> <laughs> Did I need to? <laughs> <laughs> Probably not. She's going to print it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen your budget. <laughs> you, got no, you got no secrets, Bill. <laughs> no, yeah, mine's always a fun one. <laughs> Starting the 17% today, I, I told you guys here a couple, three weeks ago that we were going to start the 17% uh, we're actually going to go on, since we certified last week, uh, to the, to the uh, um, hopefully, uh, yeah, get started. But we're going to start with Byron and then work our way around. So, yeah, about. Wow. Is there about six townships? And yeah, I think so. Pretty close to that, yeah. And then part of, uh, in the city of Hudson, and then part of, uh, <laughs> this is 2012 expenses. We need a coordinator. <laughs> the year to date column is what he actually, the dollars he actually spent. Yeah, 
the county general pays for your paper. And yeah, you guys really your don't do some subscriptions here. Don't use that much. Your way of an office way of her. Mm -hmm. well, I can go back and do this and and uh, do you guys have a print and advertising? So, I mean, it all, comes, this out. Year it all comes out of that. You've already used $1,200 in office. <laughs> so, it's so, so, yeah. You buy your name on it. Mm -hmm. I don't know what the difference would be. See, I, I, I don't either. I mean, I could look at the detail. Mm -hmm. but the 325 a month. I mean, a year. That's 27 a month. That doesn't even want to get posted. Well, what I, what's going on, um, do they have the, do you want me to bring it back today? No, I mean, I can go do this. It won't take too long. Well, this is something to work by. I mean, if we do Well, they, yeah, they can look at it more and more. Yeah. Do a little bit for you. <laughs> 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 we'll make our own adjustments. <laughs> Let you know. That's good. Be like Marty. We'll discuss it with volunteers okay. sitting in on a call. Yeah, like, those are probably sitting over there getting blooming today. <laughs> okay, that sounds great now. You can redo it, give us three or seven weeks or two or whatever. Well, I mean, it all. Bye, Mike. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what I do. I, what I might do is go. For the 26th. What I may do is go back and finish it and, and do it, and then I just go ahead and give it to you right. later on. Today. I don't think your total numbers will change, though. No, I don't either. From looking at each line a lot. How important is it to have an accurate item per item as far as coming? It's not. Out? It's just We're the total. We're the county. As long as your bucket doesn't run out, you're right. fine. There's no violation. Right. If you get a violation, the bucket system. Well, that's how I think of it in my civil mind. <laughs> but it would, I still think it'd look better if it was... It, if it's close, yes, it does look better, but we're not in violation if right. the total That's good. amount does look right. better. And you said we've already used 1200 in 2013. Yeah. Look at that. You said I don't want to yeah. kill them or you don't want to do them or whatever. And change, I don't want to do a change it to $500. Mm -hmm. and then we need to so it would look, it was still, it's still going to look weird compared to this. Right. We have to compare both. This year, and both the problem. Okay. For this year? And last year. Okay. And then I'll just get back to her. Certification went good. Last week, but it was another week. That was a week. Yeah, it went good. Need to jump straight on it, so it's fresh in our minds for that problem. We bought $500 worth of envelopes this year. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then we have DLT this year. Okay, I'll look at it all. I'm not going to waste time now. Those reports okay. should be in there online. Right now. Okay. There's right. one for 12 and one for 13. So these townships are visiting, what is it going to be, a month or so? Right till October. Let's go for the Sioux County Stafford Township last. <laughs> <laughs> you got something to hide? <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> you have to let them know you're there. <laughs> you know, like when, I go to, when we go to the city of Hudson, we're, we're stopped in there and we'll just let people know. But it doesn't take long for them to see the signs and then, you know, what we were the badge that, that they made for us, you know, to, so they know who we are. And, and uh, but now in the township, there's really nobody that we uh, have to do it. You know, kind of fear of getting shot or something. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime, really. You know. <laughs> There's so many people in my yard, I wouldn't probably think twice, but some people get 
There's, four, there's yeah. probably more actually within the appraiser's office across the state. There's just probably more accidents. Because you have so much on your lap. Leave my dog out. Yeah. Right. <laughs> 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 you just tranquilize the dog. Yeah. <laughs> 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 the way they measure fast. Hold on, I'll go get it. Okay. Yeah. All right, you guys have any work? Pretty settled. Yeah, probably back in the rear appraisal day, that was a little more of an issue. Yeah. When this was new. It was, that was an issue then. It really was. I don't know if I'd want that job. And we also had issues where, um, and some counties still have it, where um, uh, thieves will follow the data collectors. They're either they're going behind it or they read the paper and see what where they're at. And then they put a bogus ID on and then they say there was a county or something. Um, you have that in the, uh, in the summer. I mean, all right, well, get, you guys have anything for me? Okay. We'll get those reports and then we'll get this a little closer. Okay. All right, thanks. Thanks. Feel that? Hi, Phil. I don't know because we, I, we didn't, I didn't get into that. 
last time you traded loaders, was that when you sold the one to Landfill? Okay, but the time before that's when you sold it to Kelly? We didn't sell it to Kelly. The, oh, he bought it from the, the dealer. Yeah, the okay. We traded it in. in the okay, because I, I knew he ended up with one, and I was curious yeah, because if you did a, no, he, a concealed he, bid. No, what he did was, was we traded in with the dealer, and then as soon as he knew we had done that, he made the trade. He uh -huh. called. He called okay. the salesman. Okay. And dealt with him. Okay. Because the last one we sent it over to Landfill. Right. Landfill mm -hmm. so always bought it from. Yeah. Road. What over a two or three year period? I think he busted. Hey, yeah, it was. A, a year yeah, it was something. only. Yeah, we got. I think it was like sixty thousand. So I got it. in that cycle and I mean the, the, the farther we push stuff down the cycle I mean it just we've got I've got also got a 12 year old grader right now you know so I mean yeah. it is I think it's two years down the road maybe so it's going to be you know 14 or 15 years old that's if you had to pick which one would you rather do the between the two I mean if it push comes to the shovel and iron I'm going to The truck probably cost us more money than that right now. To be honest, I mean, I love it. perfect world. Is, well, yeah, yeah, no, the right. world's no. this. And, and, yeah, uh, <laughs> but I mean, but, if, we, yeah, I know. if we but, um, see that we have to do something different, I mean, and, instead and, of scrambling trying to get information from you at the last minute, then, sure. I mean, no, I no, I understand. And if we could even maybe just budget half of that for you know, maybe not quite all of it, and go ahead. And Maybe roll it over into the pudding for the end of the year or something and then have part of it there. You know, I, like I don't want to really lease purchase because right. it, yeah. it just puts money out of the, you know. Yeah. We have done it that way, but it's, it's, it kind of puts you behind the ball by the administrator or anybody that's ever dealt with us. You know, unless you're really in the pocket. So road oil is how much a gallon this year? Ceiling oil is two dollars a nickel. Mixing grade is two and a quarter. Go, well, no, it's going to be a pretty good sized pile yeah. because of that yeah. other 4,000 tons, but basically all we were going to make was 7,000. We, we did it. That's what we were doing last year just because, you know, the price had went up and the budget figures just went there too, too much more to have. And we see, still see what we spent. So we pulled them out. But I can't remember if we spent any out of the special machinery or, or special. Special, I don't think we had anything as special and primitive. If it was, it was very little. So it used to be we would have a pretty good sum that we could roll over in there every year and right. we could take some of that, but it's not there anymore. <laughs> When you're testing, or is that something you handle in house? No, we just go through the mental health consortium. They do what? The mental health consortium. Uh -huh. That's why they do work. They, they pick them. Uh -huh. 
they sent me a day to rip the policy. When we started that, they drew up the policy and yeah, all that other kind of stuff. And they called me and told me that I need so and so and so and so. Yeah. One day they called me and said, I need, there's five, and then she be four names. I said, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for you because your budget is very difficult to predict the way the price of all those commodities keeps going up. Yeah, I've been mean, for the last couple of weeks ago, I had to wait six days. Yeah. And that's when gas was at the yeah. I, just, I just could not pull the trigger. I finally pulled the trigger on it, and I only bid like a thousand gallons. Yeah. That's yeah. one gives by for three weeks. <laughs> 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 that just hurts me. <laughs> it's pretty expensive. Yeah. That's the first time I've seen diesel feel cheaper. Yes, yeah, all the time. Yeah, I don't think it's so, one. I don't think it's one. Then we have a road. Is that? That's that road on. It's it's on old 50s on that is. You know where Larry yeah. Turner's is. It's a, all it all it does is goes yeah. down there to Rickson's farm. Yeah, that's all it does. And you can't know it's both sides of the road. Is it a county maintained road or township? Yeah. It is, it now, we, it's ours. The township drags it for when they need a set of lanes. They, <laughs> they, for faith. That kind of has a gentleman's agreement. Yes. yes. They come in and we help them change their motor their plates. They pay for plates. Uh, uh, it's, 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 it's under our group. Uh, that's not the priority rate, is it? And Kent's okay with that closing? He was when I talked to him a year ago. He said, "Yeah, because he don't like people going down." Well, and get one thing I will suggest, and, and you know, I'm certainly do a face to face with this guy, but you know, when you ever you close a road, uh, the persons affected have up to one year to present a claim for okay. damages, and if we can get him to waive that claim, I think he'd probably go ahead. Okay. I'll close it and not okay. have to worry about it. I'll to you. But you always have that little Pandora box there every yeah. time you close a road. Yeah. And, and the famous case was this Davenport Pastures lawsuit over in Morris County or Marion County. I was getting these two countries. I think it was Morris County. Bill Cass and Morris County. And that was hilarious in that the county, after the first go around, offered 30,000 bucks. The, the injured party, the plaintiff, wanted 107. The court finally awarded the grand total of 4,500. <laughs> <laughs> but that was after nine years of litigation. So it's just every now and then you get somebody who has very pronounced views on what their the loss of that is. Or it depends on the priority, right? <laughs> This starts from Turner's Corner. It, it actually starts. I'm trying to get this right. I think you ought to start at the river. No, it goes. It's further west than that. <laughs> it would be. It's in his driveway. There's 20, no, it, it, it basically is going to be be closed from Northwest 25th Avenue. 
25th? Yes, it's a half mile. That's why I have to. Well, it just dead ends okay. from there west, okay. and it's long enough. I could see why he wouldn't want that. Is that like an old abandoned feed yard full of junk? No, all the uh, farm shop's still there. But there's an old condemned bridge down there. Yeah. I mean, it, it was old okay. U.S. This is where kids used to go to drink. Yeah. Cause, yeah. yeah, okay, I've been down there because <laughs> I was trying to, trying to make sense. No, not, not with the kids, I'm oh. the fact. Oh. I'm trying to make sense out of it. I'll take a look across the bridge when we were kids. Uh, what happened? <laughs> Apparently, if you go racing around down there with, at night with your lights off in your car, you might just head on into a park half a combine or something. Yeah, yeah that or a big old pipe fence or a tree. There's a lot of junk down there. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out how the hell this is where the, the, where the park. <laughs> part of the old 50 where there was a bridge. Yeah. And it's it fell, it fell off its pier and yeah. slipped down. And so the uh, water is called Skidoo Bridge. <laughs> but, but it was it was old 50. I, I can see that one plan to Dillman. Dillman closed. Followed the railroad track right along Dillman and then it went south to where the new highway 50 is and went back over. Although I think I met him before, I told him in that situation he was covered. I mean, didn't worry about it because these kids were trespassers and you have no duty of care whatsoever for a trespasser. It's still one of the good things about Kansas law. Yeah, Phil, can you set up a little meat? Landowner, you and me, and we'll kind of sure. get this rolling. It's maybe sometime on a late Monday afternoon. Okay. About late four. Or four yeah, three three thirty three four is good. Okay. It's just real short meeting. Is uh, sure. I'll get about ten. Sometimes. Okay, great. And the other one, I'll do a little more research and make sure that it's not open. To me. <coughs> This bridge has to be inspected every year, so it's something we need to get done. The inspection comes up on the again, and if, you know, so this is something, and it only costs about hundred dollars. But that's to me, that's not too much. Right. It really services nobody. I mean, I don't mean, it doesn't service a whole lot of the like, general public of Stafford County. That's right. <laughs> so I'll deal with more. There are places where they just give them the structure. You know, you can't hold the concerns and stuff. Yeah. Pumping a little, little water crossing. I wouldn't do that on the creek. Not on the rattles. Well, uh, no. Not over there because there's too many. You know, you get up over here and there's too there, There's always water in that yeah. through there. I mean, we can go west and west. Yeah. It's like South Mexico. There's some springs in there. And you can, yeah. It just dries up in places. Like, you know, Have we talked to the state or have you talked to the superintendent about the Stafford Road opposite to the south? No, I can't. The elevator, the scale house. Okay. I mean, that, it's, and it's going to be really bad in the next couple of weeks. It's bad now. It's going to be really bad. We can go over there and smooth it up a little more. So he's coming in there, and it, it sent, I saw one coming in a little too fast, so he hit the brakes a little hard, and he just chattered all the way to the stop sign. Imagine that. Yeah. But I would think that the state would be able to let's, let's see if we get them to concrete from the edge to their easement. Aren't they responsible for that approach? Or is, or to is their right away. To the right and they are there. They're back to their right away. I mean, right, right there. All this stuff you're talking about is on us. Well, there's a few feet that stayed. Mm, probably just a little bit. It's probably about 12, 12, 14 feet, something like that. And that's that's the bad part. I'll talk to you because when they're coming off the scale, they either crank her left real sharp to get back behind, or they crank her real sharp going to right to get on the highway. I will, I'll call Glenn Scott. He's the one that's doing the, who's on the high-risk roll roads. Let's see maybe if that 
doesn't qualify because of the way it is. The whole thing just kind of. Oh, it's it's a mess. Well, it well, just it has been. <laughs> well, it irks me. Yeah. I'll be right honest because you know, we're sitting here doing maintenance for, uh, or for something that is not a road. I mean, what would they do if we went in there and went back to 28 foot? Mm -hmm. Have you ever talked to Crable to see if he'd help me? I talked to Donnie just a little bit. And, uh, yeah. That's where I ended up. I don't think Donnie would go approach him, though. I'd, I told him I'd talk to Craven. He could even talk to Scott and have him It'd be better than talking to Donnie Shirley, Craven, his son that works down here at St. John. I don't know. Well, then we'll talk to his son. But the service is there. Oh. The one that's married does come up. That's the first Craven son. I would think they would want that a little more attractive myself. Getting in well, there. well, it benefits. Well, it doesn't. It benefits them. I oh, mean, yeah. this is all for their benefit. It's rough enough. Don't, I, would, I really don't want to put them on a hole in there either. Really. But if you, I mean, you can see why it's the way it is. I mean, the truck comes out there. Well, and then they have. Uh, and they don't. Have, and they don't care because they don't do the maintenance. But then traffic has has to you know if they're going if they're approaching the scale from the west you know facing east it's no big deal. But it's the ones that are coming onto the scale from the east facing west, and when they try and you know you've got and I've seen I don't know how many cars stop, trucks and everything waiting for this guy to get either going south or north. Well, quite honestly, I'm surprised somebody hasn't one of the trucks is doing has tried to go around them. And one of those. Well, the, the only reason it isn't because the trailer's long enough that it's there and they can't get around. Right. It. So it is. But I, I will call Glenn Scott with and see if maybe somehow that. See, I thought one feet. day when that container truck <laughs> lost his uh, right wheel that that scale house would be gone. <laughs> then he got it stopped. <laughs> You know, the best fix would be to move the scale house. Right. But I don't know if they got any idea. No, they, they won't do that. If, if after harvest is over, if you want me to talk to Bruce, I can talk to Bruce, too. Well, if you want to I was on the board. Okay. Well, I just, I put the ball in your court. <laughs> <laughs> I'll bring it up to him. <laughs> Well, it is, I mean, it is a safety issue. It is. It's not just because the road is rough. Well, it's yeah, just, it is. That's not a good situation. I think we could widen it out, though. You know, fix it up. Well, it's more than widen it out. It's plain. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's what I was thinking. Well, it's more than widen it out. It's more than widen it out. But like Clayton says, when that truck pulls out, the, the traffic has to stop to let them get around that corner. Mm -hmm. They're not on the, in the right way, are they? They're still no. on the no. no. The truck is by the time it turns out. Oh, yeah. yeah. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sure it's the scale hell's not far off. It was not designed for big trucks at the moment. Oh, no. That was, <laughs> that was built in the 60s. Oh, yeah. So similar as we're. Everybody and their dog didn't have yeah, one. Yeah. The only other thing I'd like to have a five minute executive session. Uh, I think this we have an executive session for five minutes. I'd yeah. like to first out. Do you want to meet with this? Our yeah. Wonderful County clerk with us? Yeah, that'd, that'd be great. great. You need me, not me, and I will yeah. swap some stories. Yeah. Not Jim five minutes. <laughs> Hang on a second. <laughs> it's been moved to say we're going to executive session to discuss kind of like a personnel for five minutes on fair to say aye. 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 John from Kirkland Michaels told me that they're just about ready to with, with, with no. No. With, oh, the, the, with, with a grant for their summit. Oh. Yeah, that's yeah. Well, that's good. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
So, Joe, would you have something? Well, I'm assuming you got the earful from the sheriff on this concealed carry thing. It has Judge Keeley. Yes. yes. Okay, you got an earful from him as well. But not too bad. But uh, <laughs> here, 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 here is my great plan, which is buys us a little more time. But, you know, hey, there's nothing wrong with that, is there? Um, here you go. Basically, we're going to buy ourselves six months and we'll maintain the status quo. And as I understand it, during that six months, we can, quote, come up with a safety plan and possibly get a four-year extension. But right now, nobody knows, you know, what a good and sufficient safety plan looks like. There's going to be a county counselor's association meeting in Salina. It might even be this this uh, this week off check my calendar it might be the 14th. It's either the 14th or the 20th. Uh, not the 20th, excuse me, the 21st. Uh, and needless to say, this will be the topic, and I'll get to pick some, some brains, which I'm not adverse to. I particularly like the fact that both Shawnee County and Sedgwick County will actually sit down and talk to you. It's, it's really good because they're the ones who see the actual lawsuits and crap like that. Um, 
for example, when I was with the county had a problem with the topless bars, I basically copied the city and county you know, ordinances and things for me. Should you list all of the county property, like the shop, the health department? The well, NS, that, that's, that's, the, my, that's, that's my next question. I, I mean, we've got more than just these two buildings. I don't know. I mean, I mean we, we have until you know the end of June to send this in, so obviously we can take you know, care of this next Wednesday. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't know if you know. I just was doing what I call a quick reaction. Right. Yeah. I, I suppose we can go to the health nurse office. EMS. Yeah. Um, shop. shop. And I don't. Ryan's building down. I mean, if you're talking all county property, Ryan's got that shit down there. south. Landfill. Brian don't have the stickers on his doors, though. He did. That's why they're yesterday. I mean, how specific do we need to be? That's why I guess what I'm asking. That's what it's going to be done. That's what it's going to be done. Can you just blanketly say all separate county property? I don't know. Probably not. No, that's why I asked for the address. If you want me to include a couple, just give you the name of the building. That's a few guys. I don't know. Well, I thought the, intent, no, I thought the intent, intent was where they had a court. Well, no, basically this law, law says you can carry concealed weapons in any public building. And here's what I figure is going to happen because I'm just a pessimistic sort. You guys, you're not too much at risk because you guys paint very broad strokes. You said, you know, bill weapons and whatnot. I figure city council is going to get shot up because what city councils do, they cut off people's utilities when they don't pay. And a lot of these people who don't pay are nut jobs. Mm -hmm. Sad thing is, we talk about all these you know, all background checks, all mental proceedings that I'm aware of in the three states where I'm licensed to practice are sealed. So how do you, you know, so basically you know what your, your background check for nut jobs is, you ask them to check the box on the form, are you mentally ill, yes or no? So, you know, I figure the city council is going to have problems you know, before the county commission meeting will. Because, you know, like I said, you guys seldom are you singling out somebody. I could think of four people over in your town of Stafford who are prime candidates. Seriously. These people have, have a pedigree. You know, I've convicted a couple of them of uh, you know, shutting down their meters and starting them up against the electric meters. That's brave, by the way. I won't touch it. So, you know, uh, my, my advice is, is uh, keep the status quo, you know, as long as you can. This is a very ill considered law. But what is the status quo? You can they, keep basically, the signs up? Right now, right now, you guys have the power to ban weapons from this building. You know. It was always an inherent power of, you know, the county and the city. And the legislature, for whatever reason, wants to do away with that. The legislature is just in love with concealed carry weapons, which to me, in my mind, tend to be junky guns of uh, dubious reliability. And somebody says, don't you have a concealed weapons permit? The answer is no, because any weapons I choose to have are too big to conceal. So if you want to add a couple more buildings, fine, but I suggest at the very least you want to do because this is where your, 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 your yeah. meetings are, where people come in and pay taxes, or, you know, they come in and try and register their car or something, and they don't have a title to it. Yeah. I don't know how many disgruntled people you have to help them. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, I it's, mean it's, it's easily added. That's what, yeah. I agree with that. I think that adds that. And shop health and EMS? Yeah. Okay, we can do what that. What about the hospital be there, Al? The hospital, uh, we could arguably uh, put that on. That's actually an excellent idea. Yeah. Yeah. Was, technically, it's ours. Yeah. The only thing this sealed, this Senate, this House Bill 2052 does not impact is the governor's mansion, the Capitol building itself, 
and schools. Or the courtroom, right? No, no, I mean, well, Keeley can come in and tell us. Yeah, Judge Keeley's position that, that, that judges, which are also a co equal branch of the government, uh, have inherent authority to control their own activities, which begs the question you know, where the judicial activities take place. Does that certainly include the courtroom? Does it include the hallway outside the courtroom? Does it include the court's office, I'll say yeah, you know, but it's very fuzzy. I think eventually you're going to just have to take all the signs of them and just enforce the program, but well, if, 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 if something the, changes. I was the legislature change. obviously has invested heavily in metal detectors because basically <laughs> uh, what uh, uh, most of their safety plans seem to uh, envision are metal detectors here, there, and everywhere. Right? But you still have to have a security guy right there. Exactly. You know, and, and so you're, you're talking about a substantial unfunded mandate for the companies. Why well, should they open it up? Like they want you to open Well, what's going to happen is like somebody's going to shoot up a city council, something good like that, and then the senior heads will prevail and they'll rescind this so, one. Because we seem to have gotten along pretty well as a culture here in the sovereign state of Kansas for what? 150 plus years or so without this concealed carry nonsense. Same time that you can carry a gun and some unruly person comes in, she can unload it. Oh, yeah, oh, but but this another thing, other thing we have to address, which I have on my list of things to do, is we probably need to look at our yeah, personnel policy because this law is so broad that arguably county employees can start walking around with concealed weapons. So, again, I, I, I'm sure you don't have to worry about that. Hey, I, I'm the guy who still gets the old-fashioned Smith & Wesson end-frame revolvers. You can a big, long barrel, uh, which the reason for that, in case anybody's interested, is you want the extra velocity because you want the 357 round to go through a car completely. <laughs> well, I figure if somebody ever tries to, you know, uh, exact revenge against you, it's truly it's probably the case he's driving down a very deserted <laughs> road, which is filled with all the times, you know. Uh, and uh, at, at home, of course, you know, we have other items. Which, which, which is why when I have my grandkids over, they have to stay in the guest house. <laughs> trying to child proof my big house. Oh, wait. What did it happen? Get in there. The guest house. <laughs> I just had a guest house uh, re, re roofed. I, I bought the little house for $11,000 in 1992 to re roof it and you know, do other things that needed to be done. It only sent me back 6000 bucks. Do we need to? Well, I think what he's going to do is revise it. We're going to add, add other buildings, buildings and we'll do it next yeah, week, which, which we've got time because that's what the. Yeah, this is what we're going to call the 19th. Yeah. Our deadline is June 30th. We'll get up the mail on the 19th. And we'll be happy. And this is what I'm recommending to all counties uh, is get the six month extension. Uh, why do you want to have to? Invent the wheel between now and June 30, and then go for the four year off. Yeah. Well, I can say we'll have a chance to see what other counties are doing. Again, I'm going to play for this for the capital of the team. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I'm going to go upstairs and finish my paperwork. June 9 10 was awful everywhere in central Kansas in terms of criminal behavior and misbehavior. Yeah, I don't know, were the planets like or the eight and nine aligned? <laughs> it was nine and you know, June nine and ten. Yeah. And <clears throat> because we had like three arrests in Russell, we had three or four in Ellsworth, and we had two or three here. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, you'll love this, it's always the same people down here. <laughs> yeah, Benjamin not. Eric. Hey, you're up. Robert. Hello. <laughs> I'm Robert Mitchell. And I'm the director of Central Kansas LEPG. Um, we take care of the water well and septic permits you know, throughout the county. 
And I have to apologize. I left the office this morning in a hurry. I had a meet with Zoe down here to go do some, some site surveys, and I left my printout that I was going to get to you folks there at the office. Um, but I'll get that down to you folks. Um, every year we come in and just give you guys an update on what we've, what we've accomplished throughout the year. And then, of course, with the budgeting coming up, um, we're not going to ask for any more funding you know, than what we asked for last year, which was the 6394 And um, the reason this year has been just incredibly busy the last two years with water well and septic permits. So our permits have you know, carried us over well the last couple of years. Um, last year, our state funding for the new commissioners, our state funding just dis disappeared last year. So the board came up with a formula and asked the counties to, contr to you know, contribute so much. And everybody's done that, and you know, this year with our permitting the way it has been and our funding with the permit fees, we've been able to cover what we lost from the state last year. Uh, and actually, we've done pretty well with it. Um, just for 2012, um, for our numbers for, for 2012, we issued 55 water well permits. 16 septic permits, um, we did 10 lender evaluations, and what that is is if there's a home being sold in the rural, we have to go out and do a water test and a septic inspection on it. And then we did 17 separate just water tests um, for folks concerned about nitrates and bacteria in the water. That was for 12. To show you how busy we are this year, um, this, these numbers are as of the 1st of June. We've issued 42 water well permits for Stafford County, 11 septic system permits. We've done six lender evaluations and 11 water tests. So you can see we're a little bit ahead, a little bit ahead of ourselves right now. Um, we've actually hired a part-time office personnel to kind of keep up with the, the paperwork that I haven't been able to <laughs> keep up on with. So. Um, so that's that's kind of where we are. Um, hours that we spent in Stafford County last year was 1,134 hours uh, throughout the, the year. And as of June 1st, not counting what we've done today, um, we're at 823 hours in Stafford County right now. And how they came up with that is they have a formula that the commissioners must have put together years ago in regards to our time that we spent on septic systems and water wells. So that's how we kind of come up with that part of it. So I think with the oil wells, you know, we've got a lot of oil drilling going on, and that's where a lot of the wells are going to us right now. So um, you know, that's kind of what I had for you folks. And, <laughs> just to kind of let you know where we are and if you have any questions and I know I think I, well I met with Zoe this morning we had to go out and do some site surveys on some septic systems and um, she said I think she'll be with the folks next week with a lot of the cost share programs that are out there you know, that's where we kind of step in and have to have us I mean, do the inspections on a lot of that um, you know, to approve that cost share part of it. So, yeah. If a guy bought a, or build a new house and use the existing septic tank, do you have to uncover it and if measure it and stuff? We, we'd like to. Um, we get a lot of them where it has to go towards like a lender evaluation kind of deal. If the banks are loaning on it, then normally they ask us to do that. Um, if there's an exi existing system there, and if we have records of when it was put in, then we can come out and prove, you know, Prove it, and because see, we have records from '91 on. Anything that's been put in that has been permitted, we have records of that from 1991 to present. So if we can go through and look at the legal, what area do you cover? We cover um, well. We represent six counties, and that's where the six counties pull together and, and keep us going. There, um, I have Stafford, Ness, Pawnee, Edwards, Brush. Russell County. So those are the six counties that we represent. And I know last year when they cut our state, but I mean, we 
put flyers out to look at a couple other counties, and we had some of them approach us, but we really hit the busy part of the year, so I'm glad we haven't <laughs> <laughs> um, taken on any more counties yet. And that's still a possibility you know, later on down the line. Um, How much you see your budget was last year? Um, last year it was 63. I'm sorry. I can't do it. Anymore. So I give you an extra 50 cents. Thank you. Yeah. That's what put us over this year. Um, and well, how they how they the board came up with that? I have well, board members for each county, and Harry Stites is our representative for Stafford County. And what they did is they came up with a population, and then they just did a percentage on on the population, and they did that for all the counties. Um, and Stafford County is not the highest and they're not the lowest, so they're they're right in the middle there with that sixty-three ninety-five. <laughs> 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 so if I blow your budget by fifty cents this year, it's, it's our fault. Or so. <laughs> <clears throat> So your water testing, do you do that in-house or do you? We do that in-house. And in-house we do just the bacteria and the nitrates. If you want to check for um, salt, you know, different types of minerals, and what we do is we send that off to Servitec. We have a, a system set up with them. We send those off to them, and when they get them, they'll mail me back the results of that, and then I get them back to the property owner. For them. But for nitrates and bacteria, we do that in-house. So that should that be done every year? Or? In your area, I would say yes. <laughs> um, you know, we have we have a lot of like daycares and, and foster homes that do their they do theirs yearly, and they, they have to do that by state regulations. But and and you'll tell I'm, <clears throat> with the drought that we've been having that we've been in. The water table's just sitting there, nothing's moving. Nitrate levels are going through. Um, you start getting any more rain and that water starts moving around, you'll see those nitrates coming up a little bit on that part of the RO systems will take out all your nitrates. Um, now your bacteria is, I mean, we can shock and clean, you know, do things like that to your well to get that cleaned up. But will it take care of it all the time or forever? Probably not. It'll probably be a continuous, you know, treatment, whether it's once a year, once every six months, or every other. So, have to think it now. <laughs> <laughs> and what we do is the reason we set up our in-house is when we sent it into Servitech, it was a seventy-five dollar fee, whether it was nitrates or bacteria. Well, we were able to purchase the equipment and go to the classes and take everything. And our water test is forty dollars for nitrates and bacteria. That includes us coming down. You know, we try to schedule it. Like if I'm down doing an inspection, we'll try to schedule it then, so we're not just running down for a water test. But, you know, we can get two or three together. We'll gather them and take them up and do them all at once. <laughs> 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 no, I've had it checked several times. Servitex in Dodge City. Mm -hmm. And there's one in there's one in Hutch. 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 Peterson. No, Peterson. 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 Yeah. Out by the airport. Yeah. 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 But for nitrates and bacteria, we can do that. I know we're well the city has kind of pulled us into the you know, into the well for bids here in the city limits now. Or before they weren't now, so when we drill a well here in town, we'll check it. Of course, we're seeing nitrates on it. I have to check from last because we just started, it's probably been about a year now since we've been in it. And 
I know a lot of folks, when the word got out, they went ahead and drilled wells right away. And I've seen it slow down. We've actually permitted three for this, you know, just recently here for the city limits. So we'll see how those are. So I wonder what next year will bring as far as new wells. Yeah, that's where the board, I mean, if, you know, the permits stop coming in, which I have to watch how I say this, I pray that they do, because that would be the remaining rain, um, then, you know, next year we may have to increase the count. Mm -hmm. But as of right now, you know, the board's not going just, just to leave it the way it is, because the funding's, the funding's there, and that's, you know, we don't want... You know, we don't want to, you know, put the burden on you folks either, you know, or everybody else. So, you know, we can keep it going and, you know, the way it is, great. Right? See, we lost, well, CKLAPG, with our six counties that we represent, we lost 40,000 from the state. Because we, we almost split that in half from what the counties were giving us and what we were drawing from the state as well. When the state pulled that out last year, it was just really no warning, it was just sliced and gone, so and we were able to keep it going with the permits that were coming in, and I think we can keep it going now. Another thing that we can look at, too, that's been thrown out is raising our permit fees you know, in the county. Pawnee um, County has chosen to do that. We, like right now in Stafford County, our water well permits are $100, and septic permits are 125 well, what Pawnee County's done is their water well permits have gone to 150, and their septic permits have gone from that 125 to 250. So that's, that was the decision they made last year. Mm -hmm. It's either water or right on gas. <laughs> bad water, bad water. <laughs> all go someday, you know. hey, uh. <laughs> I'll be lost forever, Clay. <laughs> <laughs> My wife won't get anything except that reverse osmosis. I've said it. <laughs> All right. So if you guys just consider that, that would be greatly appreciated. And have any questions, give me a call. Okay. So, and I thank you for your time. And thank you, Robert. Good luck for the rest of your day. <laughs> Enjoy your clean water. Yes. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thanks. Hey. Hey, you're back? Yeah. Well, he wouldn't be able to sleep tonight. <laughs> that's, that's exactly right. He wouldn't be able to sleep tonight. He came in. I was going to look at him, of course, he was still. He came in a little closer. He saved about one, one and a half percent. But it looks better. And, so, and what I did is I went back and looked at the first half of 2013 where I didn't know um, too much or out of line for, for 2014. That 3% increase, is that with the salary that's, adjustments we've done? That's actually where it, where it is right now. Yeah, where it will be, yeah. 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 That's not saying we need another 3%. Right. Yeah. 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 And actually, that, I changed that. Oh, I changed yeah. that. Yeah. that so this, is the, this is the one you want to go with? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, sometimes... You want to go the other one? No, I, uh, it's in a file. Okay. <laughs> I, I, so anyway, that looks... I think that looks a little better. Yeah. It's right on the other one, Clay. Oh, that's Bill's. Yeah. Let me go to that one. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
property. He said yes, that'd be fine. You don't have to sign it and send it back to him before you get your money. Right? I think that that's it was getting the cart before the horse. Three hundred fifty dollars, so. wasn't it? Yeah, I, I refused to do that on my own, and they sent me a check well, without signing. Well, you know, they'll send a check here, but that goes to Marvin or Spares, right? Well, I believe so. Yeah. Yeah. But I did. I've never ever signed anything. You didn't sign this? No, I told them I would sign it after I got the check. That, okay. That's crazy. You're 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 letting okay. them go before you get the check. And I've never ever done that that way. You're, and I, I said, you send me the check and I'll send you the okay. copy. And they, they finally agreed. Okay. It's a new policy they got. They want you to mm -hmm. let, them, let them go of any further damages and then send you the check. I said, you send me the check, I'll send you back the deal. Okay. And I think Beth did the same thing over here on hers, but she was one that asked me what I was going to do, and I said, yeah, that's backwards, and I called the guy, and he says, I, I agree with you, it's backwards, but it's our policy. I said, well, I don't like your So when policy. he called, I told him, he sent his, his check, and I'll, something will have a sign and send it back to you. And he didn't have any problem. Yeah, I noticed. And he didn't have any problem with that when I told him, I so thought that was wrong. That's the check, and we're going to have to cut a check. It's fair. Oops, it's Okay. Do I have anything else? Okay. We're done. We're adjourned.